As we continue our discussion of using PowerPoint for the creation of a portfolio or for the presentation of design ideas, or even if it's just for creating customized templates for other types of presentations, well, let's begin the conversation by looking at the options available for changing the page size. To do that, let me move to a different presentation. In this presentation, I've already added a background field with a border, some text, and an image. Now, I've done all this to show you what happens to these items if they are in the presentation prior to changing the page size. Um, and then what we'll also do is we'll discuss how we can uh, modify those and, and make some corrections if something happens that we don't like. All right, so from the Home tab to change the page size, we will move to the Design tab. In the Design tab, we will go to Page Setup. And in Page Setup, we can see what the setup is for this particular presentation. This presentation is currently set up as an on-screen show in a 4-3 ratio. And if you think back, the 4-3 ratio was that of early television sets and computer monitors. Uh, with the development of widescreen television, widescreen monitors, HDTV and monitors, we now have a different proportion. Typically that proportion is going to be 16-9 or 16 to 10. All right. However, for this particular presentation, if we notice, even though we have changed it to 16-9 or 16-10, the print width is still relatively small and we want a print width that's large enough so if you're doing a design presentation that includes multiple images you can put multiple images, text, maybe even uh, floor plans, elevations, perspective drawings on a page together uh, rather than having say one page per item which with this size that's about all you could fit. So what we're actually going to do is create a custom presentation and we're just going to do 11 by 17 because that's pretty common size. It's um, relatively easy to uh, print at a local copy shop or office supply store that has printing capabilities. So the width will be 17 and then the height will be 11 inches. We're going to make sure it's on landscape mode and then we're going to click OK. All right. Now, as you can see from our old view to the new view, um, it has stretched the field with a border, it has stretched the text, and it has stretched the image. These are things that you may or may not like. Uh, for example, with the image, if the image was a logo, or maybe it was a uh, construction drawing, or some sort of design that you did not want distorted, um, this would uh, not be acceptable to you, so you would have to modify that. If this border did not fit the page exactly as you expected, you would have to change that as well. So let's review the process. To change the page size, you just simply go from the Home tab to the Design tab, go to Page Setup, and then you could actually modify this to whatever size you'd like. This time, let's do it to a uh, 14 by 8 and a half, um, as that is a size that is easily printable on most individual home printers. In the next segment, what we'll discuss is how to modify images that have become distorted or how to create a uh, background that works with the proportions of your presentation.